Hello folks, welcome back to the Movie Reviewers 100. Uh, appreciate you tuning in. I hope you'll forgive this rather odd camera shot that I'm doing right here. It is extremely hot and humid in Chicago right now, and uh, if one is to sit still without central AC, one has to have a fan running at top speed blowing directly on oneself in order to stay relatively cool. Uh, that's why I'm holding the camera so close to me, is so that my voice can be picked up by the microphone over the din and racket that not only the fan is making, but the guy just outside my, my window who is operating a bandsaw. Um, anyway, um, because the final Harry Potter movie came out this week, uh, and I did see it, and I did enjoy it, it was an exciting film, um, I want to talk a little bit about Steve Cloves, who is the screenwriter that adapted... Um, uh, wrote the adaptations of seven out of the eight Harry Potter movies. Um, he has written, of course, other scripts before, but I wanted to talk about his work as a writer-director. He has written and directed two films. In 1989, he released The Fabulous Baker Boys with Jeff Bridges, Bo Bridges, and Michelle Pfeiffer. It was about uh, brothers who uh, both play the piano and sing and take on a female singer to help liven up their act and get more business. Um, I like this movie very much. It's a good drama. Uh, it's uh, subtle and mature, and uh, I was quite impressed with it when I saw it at age 17 or so. Um, but the film that I like even more than that is the one uh, that came out a couple years later. In 1993, he released a film uh, called Flesh and Bone. This movie starred Dennis Quaid as a man who restocks vending machines in one of the southern states uh, of this country. Uh, he drives around and refills vending machines uh, with cigarettes and, uh, you know... Uh, candy, gum, that kind of thing, uh, and uh, along his, uh, I I in the course of his routine, he comes across a woman who's played by Meg Ryan. At the time, um, Meg Ryan and Dennis Quaid were actually married, uh, they divorced since then, but uh, they'd made three films together as a couple, not unlike Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman, um, two sort of uh, kind of light-hearted movies, um, Inner Space and DOA, uh, which was a remake of a 1940s thriller. But then they made Flesh and Bone, which is a, a more serious drama. Um, the Meg Ryan character is a woman who has a lousy marriage, and as she's traveling home on a bus one day, her money is stolen, uh, coincidentally enough, by one of the other major characters who's played by Gwyneth Paltrow. Gwyneth Paltrow plays Ginny, who is a small-time thief and con artist, um, and she uh, just basically runs around lifting people's wallets and uh, you know, heisting jewelry and stuff from shops. Uh, and she happens to come into contact with James Kahn, who's also a small-time hustler uh, in his own right. As it just so happens, James Kahn plays Dennis Quaid's father. And they do not have a good relationship, because a long time ago, when Dennis Quaid's character was a little kid, James Kahn would enlist his son in his scams. In the opening scene, we see uh, the two of them pulling a job whereby um, the Dennis Quaid character... Uh, as a kid, um, pretends to be a lost boy who's taken in by a family uh, and uh, given a bed for the night. And in the middle of the night, he gets up, unlocks the door, and lets his father in, and they proceed to loot the house of its valuables, but then things go wrong. So uh, he is not on the best of terms with his dad. Um, so as it happens, uh, James Conn's a little bit of trouble, and he asks his son for some help. Uh, and so the four of them are sort of in close proximity with each other, and uh, although Dennis Quaid is trying to establish uh, a relationship with this uh, attractive and uh, nice woman he's just met, uh, he's uh, you know has to deal with his father and uh, this rather untrustworthy untru woman that his father is traveling with. So um, it's a very, very good drama, and uh, I enjoy it quite a bit. I think it's, uh, you know, very good acting, especially on... Uh, the part of the, uh, the the ladies in the cast. Um, I think this is probably my favorite Gwyneth Paltrow performance. Um, although she's been great in other stuff as well. Um, and I've liked Meg Ryan for a long time, especially in Inner Space. You know, she's just uh, it's just a fun movie. Uh, and Dennis Quaid, of course. I've liked him in some movies and others not so much. Um, and at times I think that he's a little bit mannered in the way that he speaks. Uh, he he's at his best when he's playing characters who aren't quite so serious. A little more charming, uh, funnier. In this one, he's uh, kind of dour and glum. But it, it suits the story well. It suits the mood of the movie well. Um, so uh, I'm going to wrap this up here because, like I said, it is very hot and I don't feel like talking for an extended period of time. But uh, I wanted to make a video, of course, 
And uh, I appreciate you tuning in. Thanks very much for watching. And uh, please uh, tune in on uh, other days this week uh, for more movie reviews from the other guys on this channel. Appreciate it, and uh, have a good one, and stay cool. Chill. Take it easy, guys. Bye.